hi everyone welcome to my youtube channel today we're going to be helping a friend to make a job decision a friend right here called Isha actually has a current job that paid him four hundred dollars another company wanted to help him work by paying him higher than what he collects in his present company now the first company wanted to pay him five hundred dollars the second company is paying him seven or six seventy and the last company wanted to pay him seven hundred dollars and now he's presenting of $50, which is going to make his money to be $450. Now, this is some kind of complicated for Yusha. Yusha wants to make the best choice out of this tree that he got currently, and as well, make choice maybe to stick up his current job, which has this promotion of $50 that's going to make his money to be oh, $450. Now, as a data analyst, what we asked of you is spend his money in every single month. So we're able to capture this data to help him make the analysis. And after that one is done, we were able to actually create a dashboard that actually present data for him to know which job is best for him. So right here we have the two top jobs for you share. And as well, we have the comparison of the income versus the expenses, and as well, money left after expenses. I'm not here to analyze the data for you, I'm actually here to show you how I created this from the scratch. So, let's see how we do that right with this particular workbook right here. So, here are the data we are able to get from Yusha, and here are the expenses every single month from job one and job two, and stuff like that. So you will know the reason why he's spending seventy two hundred dollars and half zero dollars spent on rent in a Jeffy. So the first thing we have to do, we have to actually consider what can we do to actually get this done. So we're not going to write any function much. So what we need to do is for we to actually use an inbuilt uh, Excel uh, what if analysis. So go to data right here. Just go to data. So you see what if analysis right here. So we're going to be using Scenario Manager. If you have not used Scenario Manager before, if this is your first time, do not worry. You will definitely understand how easy and simple it is to use Scenario Manager to run analysis. So right now, what you need to do right now is just to look into it. So we're going to be changing some of this to actually give us what we want. So what we need to do right now is to see the data we have is this income. So what we need to do is to change the income of to this or uh, this this very monthly income is what we're going to change to actually have this affected and get what we want for the first time we need to go to expenses and actually get to capture the expenses for every month so go to some this rent to down to a subscription we hit enter so right now he spend our uh, three thirty as expenses every single month so i'm gonna actually have that in bold so right now the money left is going to be the income so the income subtracted from the expenses so this is what we've gotten so every single month he has seventy dollars going into his savings so which of these three jobs or if he goes for the current job that has fifty dollars as promotion would he be able to have higher than this so right now let's see how we can actually run this so what we need to do right now is for we to highlight right here and actually highlight uh, okay so we need to highlight right here and as well hold the control and highlight here down so once we did this we go to our scenario manager click on the uh, data and actually go to scenario manager right here go to what if and go to scenario manager and add so what you need to add now is first of all we need to add promotion so add promotion and you click ok but if you look at what we have right here is some kind of weird so we can't read this we don't know which one is which one is rent which one is transportation water or electricity so we are going to do something to make it more readable so i'm going to cancel out so we don't want this for now so we need to create a name range for everything we have right here so how do we do that should we consider doing it step by step by naming it like this i guess no it looks old school so we're gonna actually highlight this area and highlight down to the last one and click to the top right here and go to formula so from formula 
so from formula you click on create from selection so hit on this and actually it's going to be asking you create name from value in this either top left bottom or the right column so what we need we just want to use this our uh, left which is this names to create the name range for this so i'm going to actually use the left column and click ok so right now if i go right here i'm going to see those names right here it highlights it for me if i click on gym it highlights gym for me so right now we can actually click right here and click down to the last one right here exclude those two and go to the top and choose your data and go to what if analysis and click on scenario manager right here so here we go we have scenario manager right here so i'm going to add this thing around and i'm going to add promotion so promotion and i'm going to click ok so now this is what i'm trying to say we have it very readable right now so now for promotion we're going to be paying uh we're going to be paid 450 so i'm going to have my 450 right here so now for the rent uh under promotion the rent is going to like okay let the rent be fifty dollars uh sixty dollars every single month you're still gonna stay in the current home it's not gonna move the transportation still remains the same thing the water bill everything so he's gonna let everything be same thing right so he doesn't want to actually increase any of his um his any of his personal uh way of spending money so we're gonna click on add so the second one is gonna be the new job too new job two sorry for that okay new job one so the new job one right now if i say okay so what i'm gonna have is this so what can i change right here so it's 500 dollars for the new job so 500 dollars so right now the rent for the new job is going to be 70 dollars that is the location he's getting is going to right now is more costly than the location he has his job in so he needs to move from his current location to another location the rent right there is 70 dollars so he's paying 70 dollars for a rent and now for transportation it's going to be painted five dollars from his new house to the job place so now for water bill he's going to be paying ten dollars that is expenses a little bit higher so now for 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 shopping right now we go for shopping so it's going to be doing shopping in the, in the environment inside a little bit cost he's going to be paying eighty dollars to get shopping and for hanging out with friends because things in that environment is higher, it's gonna be paying hundred dollars, just like what we have right here. So now for Jim, uh Jim is paying thirty dollars for Jim, is cheap, a little cheaper. So thirty dollars for Jim, and uh for his subscription every single month it remains the same. So I'm gonna actually add again. So the next one I'm gonna do is for me to actually go to uh new new job to so new job two right now so i'm gonna say okay so the new job two is gonna be paying for six six seventy so it's gonna, be, it's gonna be paying for six seventy and the rent right in the new job is what so the rent in the new job is actually uh two hundred dollars for your rent that is how high it is so the transportation in the new job is no transportation is gonna be zero so they give him free transportation and for water bill, uh, water bill is going to be $30, a little bit high, or uh, $30 compared to the previous one, sorry for that, $30, and it's going to be paying for uh, electricity, it's going to be $35, so that $5, so if we go down, so we're going to be taking for shopping, or uh, shopping is going to be $120, things are a little bit higher in that environment, so $120, so and we go for hanging out with friends he's spending 110 dollars so in the new environment and the gym is 10 dollars so gym is cheaper than every other places we've been to and the subscription is going to be on the tie dollar level so the last one is going to be the new job tree right now new job tree so new job tree is the last one right now so the new job tree has rent to be free for him so he has a free rent so once he has a free rent uh he's going to be having his transportation to be higher so the rent is actually far away from his office so he's going to be paying for 70 dollars 
and right now on the water bill is going to be free as the house is free itself so he has all this free so right now the shopping in the environment things are costly in this very new environment is going to so it's going to be paying 250 dollars to sh do shopping every single month if he wants to go shopping and for hanging around he's going to be using 180 thousand naira because things are costly as it's a very classic area so for gym before he goes to gym, he needs to actually register for $70 per month. And now for subscription, right now he spends higher in subscription in this particular area. I don't know why. So he's spending $50 for subscription right now. So I think I'm going to say okay to this right now. So I've gotten the three scenarios being created. So what we need to do right now is to show the summary. Right here, I'm going to click on what? I'm going to click on summary right here. So he's going to be asking me which cell does he does it does he need to change so we need this to be changed how much is going to be left not the expenses but we need this to be changed right away so what we need to do right now is to click on this rated for us automatically so this is what we've gotten right here so right now here is a new job here is the first new job, the second new job, and the third new job right here. So there is one thing that is not being added right here. I'm going to actually add it right now. It's for me to get the expenses right here. So I'm going to actually do it manually right here. I'm going to say sum this whole from here. I'm going to sum this. So it's going to actually default to a little bit error. So don't worry about that. It's telling us that we have. Okay, let me just drag this this way. So right now, what this is saying is this: is that we have um, we have formula omitted adjacent cell, so we don't need that. So we're gonna say uh, ignore because we know that we really have that right now. So right now, this is what we have right now. So you might really be confused and like, how can you make this happen? So what you need to do right now is just chart this to actually make sure it looks like just what we have right here. So right now what we need to do is for we to actually make sure we give a very nice chart on this. So I'm going to get this one off from here. We don't need it. So right now we're going to actually click from the top right here. So I'm going to name this one uh, current job. So current job so from here click from here and actually highlight and highlight income and uh, you highlight expenses so i'm gonna name this one expenses so i'm gonna name this one expenses so right now i'm gonna highlight from here and i'm gonna highlight this and as well i'm gonna highlight expenses so i'm gonna do the comparison so i'm gonna go to the top and click on insert and i'm gonna insert what i'm gonna insert go to you can go to recommended uh, chart so i'm gonna choose this for now i'm gonna hit ok so the type of chart we're using this very one i have pre-built before now is this particular chart right here so i'm not gonna use this particular chart right there instead i'm gonna use something different so right now i'm gonna click i'm gonna right click and choose this and i'm gonna go for the expenses i'm gonna put the expenses uh, right on this particular ch line chart uh, I'm gonna use this I'm gonna say okay so right now I'm gonna have this removed so right now this is what it is so here is what we need to know about this so right now we can actually fit in right here to make sure it sit well we have it set right there so right now you have the month monthly income and we have the expenses right here if you look at expenses as the trend line keeps going up and down you can see we have more expenses than what we have which means if we take this job it's gonna actually we're gonna have zero nothing so right now it's on minus twenty two dollars to twenty dollars sorry to twenty dollars can you see that so right now this is what it is so right now before we actually get to see which job is best for us let us quickly do this so I'm gonna click on this and click on this money left and I'm gonna click on the top I'll go to insert and actually give us a chart so right now I'm gonna get with this chart right now so now I'm gonna go right here I'm gonna actually drag this down a little bit so I'm gonna have it just like this so right now the next thing I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna actually drag this down right here to make sure it fits into this level so the next thing I'm gonna do is 
actually go back to your right so click on this particular in so and go back to your data right now i have it right here on top of this i'm gonna click on it so i'm gonna actually have to use summary and this time around i'm not gonna use uh, this scenario summary i'm gonna use this pivot table i'm gonna click ok so this is what it is so right now what i want to, to do is for me to actually right click and show filter i'm gonna go to top 10 from top 10 i'm gonna say top two jobs is what i need the top two so right now i've got my top two i'm gonna actually click at the top right here and i'm going to go to my chart sorry uh go to analyze and go to chart and the kind of chart i'm gonna choose is this particular donor chart and i'm gonna say okay this so right i'm going to remove this or uh, hide it i'm going to hide this from here so i've gotten this ready so now i'm going to actually cut this away from here down to the right place so i'm gonna have it dropped here so get this one closed and you can fit it in right here so here we go so right now if you look at this if you look at what we have right here right now i can actually i have to put my data label on this so i'm gonna bump it up to just make sure it gives you something very nice so this is something everybody can do but right now we've actually made a decision for this particular person to actually take a look at what it is that he needs to actually make a very good choice from so right now we have the new job one to be very very uh, good for him and you have the second job which is the second job uh, which is this to be a very good match for him he could make a decision so the data we use right here is different than the data we use on this that was why we you see we have a negative right there just like what we have right here now we have the promotion the promoted uh, the job to be good for him and as well the second job to be good for him so i have this promoted nicely by having time but right here i've actually shown you how to use our scenario manager to build this and this is what you should actually copy make a dashboard very nicely just like this and as well you can see our data source is actually very well nice or uh, treated as well so right now this is how we can actually build this so if you present this to you shall you shall be able to like oh this is actually higher than every one of them oh this is the second highest one right so the promoter the promotion is actually good 120 dollar and we have 135 dollars as monthly expenses right that as the money that is left every single month if we actually take this job this is what it is so right now i'm going to be making my choice between promotion and as well the new job so what's going to be the criteria to make this promote to make these two choices now let us go to promotion if we go to promotion right here we have the monthly income not to be too high 450 compared to the second job right here that is going to be 670 but what we need to consider is just some of the fact that we've been in this particular job for quite a long time if we stay here and get this promotion we might get other promotion so the second place we are actually going we don't really know anything about it so everything that you think about this could be fine it depends on what it really is so data has actually helped us to actually make a very snappy and fast decision right now so this is how awesome data could actually look when you use data to make a decision with scenario manager so we have more to cover in actually what if analysis just subscribe to my channel and actually look forward to how to learn or uh, go sick and data table we can actually make you to understand this so we can do a lot with scenario manager aside this very scenario we just used to present this data or to show you how to use scenario manager right now there are so many ways to use this if it comes up all you need to do when you want to make analysis is to, is to know the right tool to be used to make that analysis thank you very much for watching take a look at my other tutorials it can actually help you to create a lot a lot of scenario in your own uh, if you have any problems so we have a lot of dashboard tutorials uh, right here in my own channel just check it out it will be very awesome stay blessed and stay safe